in just a few minutes, you're going to be looking at my big, beautiful, juicy breasts. This recipe today, or several recipes, is part of my Thanksgiving 2021 series. So if you haven't seen the rest of them, check them out. Not all of them are out yet, so uh, yeah, just follow that playlist. Trust me. Today, we're making a boneless turkey breast. We're making stuffing or dressing. I'm going to use those words interchangeably. If that bothers you, then, you know, just get over it. Uh, so we're going to make that, and we're going to make gravy. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to do it now, so let's get it done. Our primary protein today is going to be a boneless turkey breast. Uh, I prefer the boneless turkey breast. The rest just goes to waste. No sense in wasting food, so just the breast is all we need. Uh, we're going to season this up very generously with our salt, pepper, garlic seasoning. Uh, the link for that is in the description below, along with the full recipe. Season it up generously. Rub your meat. Don't be shy and don't be scared to rub your meat. Everyone will love it if you rub your meat by hand. So now we got that seasoned. We're going to stick it into a zip top bag and pop it in the fridge and let it essentially dry brine. Let the salt go into it. Let the seasonings open up. Now this is for our gravy. This is two turkey thighs. And what we're going to do is season those up again very generously with the salt, pepper, garlic seasoning. Uh, make sure you flip them over. You want to get it on the skin. Separate the skin from the meat. You're going to get the seasoning under the skin. We want this to be nice and flavorful. And what we're going to do with these is we're going to sear them, and then we're going to simmer them in chicken broth, because turkey broth is hard to find, and that'll give it nice flavor for our gravy. And then we're going to use the meat for our dressing. It's It, it, it all comes together, trust me. But again, season up your meat, rub it in good. Make sure you get all of it. There we go. Right on the top, give it a little rubbing. I'm gonna stick those into a zip top bag and then pop them in the fridge. Now this is bacon grease that uh, I, I, I already did something else with the bacon. It's it's full of flavor. Anyway, so three quart uh, stock pot. We're gonna put a little oil in there, get it nice and hot, and we're gonna sear those turkey thighs. Skin side down first. We're gonna let it rock for a couple of minutes. We're not worrying about fully cooking this turkey. We just wanna get a nice sear on it, get some flavor in the pan and on the turkey. So get it in, make sure it's got good contact. We're going to let that sear off for just a few minutes. And then we're going to give it a flippy flip. See the nice browning? There's some uh, nice flavor growing on the bottom of that pan. Flip it over. We're going to let it go for a couple more minutes. Look at that. And after that couple minutes, the bottom is now seared. We're going to put in our chicken broth. Because again, turkey broth is hard to find. Damn near impossible to find sometimes. So we use the chicken, so we got the poultry flavor, and then those turkey thighs are gonna season it up. See, it's like magic, but it's not magic, it's science, it's cooking science. So we're gonna get that boiling again, we're gonna put a lid on it, and then we're gonna let it simmer on low temp for about an hour. That'll fully cook it, exchange the flavors that we need. Look at that, that's beautiful. It smells delicious. So, you know, it's an hour, turn it off. We're gonna let that cool down for a minute, now we're gonna remove them from the liquid. Don't dump that liquid, that's gonna be our gravy later. We're gonna put that off to the side and continue to work. We're gonna let these thighs cool down before we take the meat from the bone. We're gonna use the meat for our dressing, in case I didn't mention that. So that's where we're at right now. Put that off to the side, put the lid on it. Doesn't have to stay on the stove. Now we're gonna take the meat off of our bones from the thighs, still working with the thighs here, haven't touched them breast yet. You know, this could sound dirty if I was talking about it the right way. Juicy thighs, succulent breasts. You know what I mean. So there we go. We're just going to take the meat off the bones. We're going to chop it up. Give it a rough chop. We want it small, but not finely minced. We want some chunks. You're going to want to know you got turkey in your mouth. You know what I mean? So think like if you're making chicken salad or turkey salad. That's the kind of chop you want. So right there, we got some chunks. Pop that in a bowl. Pop that off to the side. Now, next thing is for our dressing or stuffing. We're gonna go with one large onion that's been, you know, I guess a quarter inch dice, maybe quarter, half inch dice. 
throw a little salt in there to help take that water out. Now we're going to start sweating these until they're just starting to get translucent. So figure medium to medium high heat. That fond on the bottom of that is from cooking the bacon earlier. That's that's from another dish. Don't worry about that. It's just it's flavor. We're going to use it. We don't want to waste it. So start sweating your uh, onions. Now once they start to get a little bit of translucent, we're going to throw in one pound of sausage meat. Now I just got to let you know. I'm doubling this recipe on the video because I was making two batches, one for this and then one for something else. Well, don't worry about that. So in the recipe, it's for one setup of stuffing, dressing, whatever. Anyway, get it in there. We're gonna brown it up. You wanna brown it good, just like that. It's nice and brown. So now once the sausage is completely browned, we're gonna add that chopped up turkey meat because yes, the turkey meat is gonna go in the dressing with the sausage. It's gonna be good, trust me. Just give it a good solid mix. And then we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. Not, not the turkey stock that we made earlier. This is just chicken broth out of, the, out of the box. So now this is a popular national brand of stuffing mix. It's the farm with the pepperidge. Uh, this is the herb flavor. This this recipe, by the way, is my family's uh, dressing recipe. Again, I'm, it's doubled up, so just suspend disbelief. All the measurements are down below for a single batch. So we're going to start moistening it with some chicken broth because you got to moisten it. can't be dry, you know what I mean? You don't want that. So we're going to give it a good mixing, and then I'm going to divide it into two bowls, and we'll go with normal-looking measurements from there. So anyway, so get your, get your broth in there. And now we're going to get our sausage, turkey, and broth mix and onions. We're going to get that in. I divided it in half because, you know, two batches. Anyway, focus on the bowl in front of you. Don't worry about that bowl on the side. That, that, that guy doesn't matter right now. So we're going to get this in, get the rest of that juice in. So all of that's going to go into your uh, stuffing mix. And then we're going to toss it. I like tossing it with two spoons, like a, like I'm tossing a salad, because I don't want to I don't want to like make mush out of it, even though it kind of does that. I want to try and preserve some of the some of the bread texture. This is a meaty dressing. It is an absolutely delicious dressing. So here we go, baking dish. That's like a 13 by 9 ish, give or take, because it's more oval than square, but about that size. We're gonna spray it down with some cooking spray, and then we're gonna put our dressing in there. Lay it out evenly, flat. If you want a, a nice even dispersion, then we're gonna put our boneless uh, turkey breast on top. And again, since this ended up being in three pieces, because terrible butcher job at uh, the, the store, we're gonna get it in the pan, and then we're gonna insert a probe thermometer into the thickest piece, because that's what we're gonna gauge everything else off of. So get your probe thermometer in there. And then this bad boy is going to go into the oven until it's done. All right, so this turkey is going to take about an hour. Let it do its thing, but make sure it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So make it happen. We'll be back. So now it's done. It's out. It's beautiful. It smells fan-freaking-tastic. But it's not ready to be eaten yet. We ain't ready yet. So we're going to cover it up with foil and let it rest. And that'll finish off the cooking and make everything nice and nice. It gravy time. So that that stock we made earlier with the chicken broth and the turkey, this is where we're at. So we're gonna taste it, see if it needs any seasoning, salt, pepper, adjust as needed, and then we're simply just gonna thicken it up with a slurry of cornstarch and water. And that's it. That's it right there. That's your whole gravy. Nothing else really needs to be done. Once you've checked for seasoning, that's it. That you don't you need nothing else. That is perfection in a liquid form to go on turkey. I promise you that. Just make sure you mix it well. You want to keep stirring it. You don't want it to sit too long because it'll burn on the bottom. You know, good technique. There we go. And once your gravy coats the bottom of a spoon, bingo bango, you dunno. Now it's time to plate this bad boy up. So actually, first we got to cut our turkey. So again, boneless turkey breast, super easy to uh, to cut up. You don't have to worry about the bones. I'm gonna take it out. Got some crispiness on the edges of that dressing. 
Got some nice, soft, delicious, the, the most flavorful part is, is under where the turkey was cooked. So that's your little hint. So we're gonna just slice this up, standard slicing. Doesn't have to be too thin, you don't want it too thick. Just like that. Now here's my tree, here's my secret. That little bit that's left on the board, that was the stuffing dressing that was stuck to the bottom of the turkey. That is my secret thing, that's my treat. It tastes so good, it's my favorite part. And we'll slather it down in, uh, in some gravy and that potato dish right in the front, that's one of my other videos, check that out. I'll stick the link up in the corner for you, but look at that, that is absolutely beautiful. Now let's stuff it in our face. Now that is a plate. That is a plate of deliciousness, and this, well, you gotta check the other episode out for that, so. If it hasn't come out yet, which I'm not sure it has, you can wait, and your patience will be rewarded, but the rest of this, I'm gonna eat now, I'm gonna eat all of it now, but it's, my, my, the first thing I'm going for is that stuffing that was stuck to the bottom of the turkey. That is my favorite part. Everything else at Thanksgiving can go take a hike. That's really what I live for. Oh, wow. So good. So good! Mmm! So how about that for a nice, easy, amazingly delicious way to serve up Thanksgiving dinner? I know I love it. So check this out. Try this out. Let me know in the comments how you did. If you were successful, unsuccessful, tips, tricks, whatever. You want to ask me something, throw that down there. You want to tell me I suck, throw that down there. Most important thing, make sure you're subscribed. Smash that like button. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. And we'll catch you on the next one.